oh, well, I'm never getting old. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, you will. I was like, nope, I ain't getting old. <laughs> my name's Ava Solberger, and this week we have an unusual video. It's about my friend and coworker, Matthew Thorson. When people see you on the street, they're just like, hey, hey, Matt. But now when they see me, like, hey, how you doing? You look good. I'm like, I'm feeling good. <laughs> For decades, Matt has been documenting the local arts, culture, music scene, taking thousands of photos. His hair is wild, he looks so strange. The little kids, the high on dope. It seems to them that there's no hope. In the subway down. In the subway down. In the subway down. In the subway. Usually, if you put it in a frame, that'll do it. <laughs> they put it in a frame like, oh, hey, look, that's artwork. <laughs> For 23 years, he's been working at Seven Days, taking all the pictures of politicians and characters and people you know and love. A lot of uh, Seven Days portraits. Yeah, we did a lot of those. He's a legend here in Burlington. Everyone big and small has been in front of his lens. I'm sure you've seen him at events. He's always there with the camera snapping away. <laughs> Two years ago, Matt was diagnosed with cancer, and he's recently stopped treatment. So I wanted to spend an afternoon with him talking about everything. This is my hair I lost from the, when it first fell out. I didn't think it was going to go back so quick. People were like, your hair's going to grow back. I was like, oh, I'm going to be dead. And they're like, well, that's not a good way to look at it. It's been a couple of years, and they told me I was going to you know, die in like six months, and then it was two years. Like, I just recently, in the past few months, I've, I think I've, I'm now feeling cancer. And before, I was only feeling the treatments. I was sick all the time, like nauseous and vomiting and all this stuff, business. But I've had a couple of surgeries. This is my uh, radiation for my head. They, they stamped me down. <laughs> it had to stop working and the future was dim and all this and they like two months and all this stuff but since all the treatment stopped I've started feeling better more often but hurt like I'm really hurt where I have many many uh, tumors tumor bumps I'm like a frog man like lumps on me well only like there's like maybe 20 on the surface and a, a bunch in my brain and they're like well, I shouldn't worry about time and how much time you have. I'm like, well, just tell me. It's like, I don't. It's like, you know, you shouldn't be upset about it. I'm like, well, why not? When you first wake up in the morning, what do you want to do? I said, I want to go back to bed, just like everybody. <laughs> He's like, no. I mean, what do you want to do with, with your life? I was like, I don't want to do anything now. I want to stop doing everything. He's like, like I'm giving up on life. I'm like, dude, just give me a number. Don't put a, a feeding tube down. Don't use the shock paddles. I have a meeting today for my DNR. And I'm, I'm thinking that it's gonna be actually easier to die than I think. Maybe, I've seen a couple other people die and they look pretty good. He's a mess when he got here. Now the experience of not knowing our dead people, like just a few hundred, well, a hundred something years ago, they take them in your house and wash them off you know, in the parlor or something like that. Or... We're so afraid of death uh, yeah, that yeah. it's like, um, we don't have even a language. I, I know, there's nothing for it. People were laying on the sidewalk. I was like, holy mackerel, is that guy dead? And I'd take his picture. And be... <laughs> Forcing myself all the time to make pictures that I know are ugly sometimes. And everybody who looks at that, they're like, uh, uh. I really feel like the, the experience made it easier for me to deal with the death than harder, even though it was really gross. You just don't know what to do. So I was like, just like you with your thing, what do you do? Turn on the, just do the camera thing. Holy crap, there's like a million wow, gold switches. Full, That's crazy. The full feeder. Diane filled those just like yesterday. It's just like a party. It seems like the neighbors all know I'm gonna die. Even the, the crossing guard, Barb, I was at, moving some logs and she was yelling to people he's dying can you believe it and he's out there doing his yard work he's got cancer like to just about everybody i was like hey barb i got ugly i'm getting uglier too i show people my ideas i used to be handsome i'll be like quasimodo because i got a couple of big ones here and, and 
and my neck and stuff. Uh, says, your hair is coming back. I think you're doing all right. Oh. And I have to reassure him. Like I don't think so, Barb. <laughs> On the other room? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we had a little art opening already, so it was like, huh, kind of got that out of the way. Don't have to do that after. But I, I wonder as well. It's like we have an art show where people will be like, oh, I'll buy that for twenty dollars. Matt's dead. Why not? <laughs> Over the years, things have accumulated and I've been like, this is the best file. This is the one I'm gonna make a book of and I call something a book and a book and a book and a book. This is all Diane? This one, yeah, it's huge. A lot of topics are mixed together. It'll be like grandma dying next to like the hamburger shop that had the photograph milkshakes that day and the, and the whole list of something. They're going to the lake with Diane. They're blowing up the floaties and all this stuff. But always there's something weird in there, like meeting the, the mayor, seeing the mayor on Church Street. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. Hey, look at that. I put like 300 photos in one place. It's so much easier. Like I feel like tearing off all the pictures off the wall and putting a book in the place of them. Oh, these are all pictures of me. I was doing what I guess now is called a selfie. I would take my picture all the time, and people were like, "That's weird. Why do you take your own picture? You must really like yourself." None of them were good pictures, like flattering pictures. It seems like most of my artwork is quite negative. This is gross. Yeah. It's just a smush in a bag. There's another dead thing there. Why do you think you're drawn to the negative? Uh, I think because by force, you know, I forced myself to do it. Bing. He's like, why do you do everything so negative? Everything you make is just dead or looks ugly. Just do it. Put it together. It's like, why? You have to look at that. It's like, I don't want to look at this dead squirrel. They yell at myself, just make it. Do it. Oh, here's a little monkey in a cage. And if you'd like to know why Matt's photos are sometimes unsettling, it all goes back to his childhood with the monkeys. I mean, we had sold monkeys to the, the NIH for uh, all my life. So yeah. you and your family had these cages in your house. Uh -huh. And you yeah. took care of these chimpanzees. Uh, rhesus, mostly rhesus, macaque, green monkeys. That would go to testing facilities. And then sometimes come, and that's how your dad or your parents made a living? Uh-huh. And you helped. Yeah. I mean, I was totally morally against it. it. Gave me a dimmer view on life. It was like, it made me feel like the Holocaust is always happening. And everybody's walking around like, look how healthy I am, you know, and they're popping their, their boner pills or they're taking their hair pills or their they got vision now, they're living to be 70. It's all because of the animals, you know? Well, you love animals, mm. obviously, and I'm sure you gave them as much care as you could. It's like, how can I have any sympathy for doing it, you know? And that's where you gotta pay the price. You know, that's what you get. You know, this is why you feel bad, this is why you hate yourself. After I kind of got married to Diane, I said, that's over. It's like, there's, there's no reason, like, I now have, you know, somebody that I know is not going away or something. This is important, I guess, that I really love Diane, my wife, that, that this is real. Like, I do have something to do with, with the, the, big, the big idea of pursuing what love is and feeling of love and, and death. Doopy doopy. Yeah, you know, oh boy. How old are you now? Oh, 50. And when's your birthday? October 10th. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. And letting a lot of things go. But what I'm trying to do is not pick up the cat fuzzballs. I want to just simplify and just be like blade of grass, breathing, eating, feeling it. And as people say that all the time, like, Jesus is going to be there when you die. He'll be there, I'll embrace you. They always say like your family or somebody's gonna be there for you. I'm like, huh. And I have had a couple of, like I had this a feeling with my, a picture of my grandma over here. You know what I yeah. And I came in here, I looked at the picture and all of a sudden I got this feeling like she was uh, there. She was kind of there. And I've, my whole life, 
indulged in hoping for the mystic or looking for it and meditating, daydreaming and and experiencing other people's death longer than I should have and all that sort of thing and and I've never felt something like that. I was like, oh my god, it's still like new feelings out there. Yeah, it felt like Like I was going to touch her hand. Like it feels that real. Whew. It's just like I, can, I can't even say it. Just, it just feel, like a, Do you believe it? Do I believe it? Because I feel it that much. Oh boy. They don't have like a shelf or will I go on a shelf? I don't know. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, thank you for agreeing to do this video with me. I send you all the love in the world. Our friend Don Eggert provided a uh, the thing where people send money. The liberty that that money has afforded me in the past when I was like, when people say, you know, if I won the lottery, it wouldn't change me. Well, $20,000, whatever the limit was there, it changed me. It relieved me in so much anxiety. I almost feel like I, I gotta hurry up and, and get dead. Because <laughs> <laughs> people be like, hey.